Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Magna Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the feast of conversion of Paul the Apostle. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship God on the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. Come, let us worship God on the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship God on the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship God on the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people the flock his shepherds. Come, let us worship God on the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship God on the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship God on the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God on the feast of the conversion of St. Paul. I know the one whom I have trusted, and I am certain that he, the just judge, has power to keep safe what he has entrusted to me until that day. O God, you are my God, for you I long, for you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry, weary land, weary land without water. 
So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. Your springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. Your dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priest of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. God's grace in me has not been without fruit. It is always at work in me. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. God in the highest, and on earth is to be born of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy. 
mercy, O Lord. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the most high Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today, and so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul addressed the people in these words, I am a Jew born in Tarsus in Cilicia, but brought up in this city. At the feet of Gamaliel, I was educated strictly in our ancestral law and was sellers for God, just as all of you are today. I persecuted this way to death, binding both men and women and delivering them to prison. Even the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify on my behalf. For from them I even received less letters to the brothers and set out for Damascus to bring back to Jerusalem in chains for punishment those there as well. On that journey, as I drew near to Damascus, about noon, a great light from the sky suddenly shone around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I replied, Who are you, sir? And he said to me, I am Jesus the Nazarene, whom you are persecuting. My companions saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who spoke to me. I asked, What shall I do, sir? The Lord answered me, Get up and go into Damascus, and there you will be told about everything appointed for you to do. Since I could see nothing because of the brightness of that light, I was led by hand by my companions and entered Damascus. A certain Ananias, a devout observer of the law, a highly spoken of by all the Jews who lived there, came to me and stood there and said, Saul, my brother, regain your sight. And at that very moment, I regained my sight and I saw him. Then he said, The God of our ancestors designated you to know his will, to see the righteous one and to hear the sound of his voice. For you will be his witness before all to what you have seen and heard. Now why delay? Get up and have yourself baptized and your sins washed away, calling upon his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all your nations. 
Glorify him, all your peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness towards us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Please stand. Alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the world world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at maligayang pagdating po dito sa simbahan ng Manawag. Si Saul ay isang Hudyo. Siya ay dalubhasa sa batas ni Moses mula sa angkan ni Benjamin at sa murang edad pa lamang kinamumuhian na niya ang mga Kristiyano yung mga tagasunod ni Yesus kaya nga nung pinatay ang unang martir ng simbahan si Stephen nandoon siya nandoon siya siguro nakibato din siya pero nagbago ang taong ito Nung papunta siya sa Damascus, mayroong liwanag na umaninag sa kanyang mga mata at siya ay nabulag at mayroon siyang narinig na tinig. Tinanong niya sino to? At sumagot, ako si Jesus na iyong inuusig. At doon nagbagong lahat. Ano ba yung liwanag na yun? Ang liwanag na yun ay walang iba kundi ang pag-ibig ng Diyos na nagpatawad kay Saul sa lahat ng kanyang mga nagawa. Ang pag-ibig na yun, ang dahilan kung bakit nagkaroon ng pagbabago sa kanyang buhay. Ang pag-ibig na yun, ang dahilan kung bakit ang kanyang pangalan ay nabago. Siya na ngayon, si Pablo. Yung pag-ibig na kapatawaran na kanyang natanggap, na na kanyang naranasan, ang siyang nagpabago sa kanya. 
At yun yung ating sineselebrate ngayon, inaalala ngayon ng isang taga-usig na pumapatay sa mga katoliko, sa mga kristyano, ay nagbago at naging tagasunod ni Jesus. Pero paano ba niya nagampanan? O paano ba niya? Anong, anong ginawa niya kung bakit siya nagbago? Paano niya ipinakita ito? Tatlong bagay. Sa tatlong paraan. Una, sigurado siya. Pangalawa, nagsakripisyo siya. At pangatlo, nakisama siya. Doon niya ipinakita ang kanyang tugon sa pag-ibig o kapatawaran na kanyang nadama. Una, naging sigurado siya. Kung mapapansin niyo sa kanyang mga sulat, malimit niyang sinasabi, I, Paul, chosen by Jesus Christ, by the grace of God. Siguradong sigurado siya na pinili siya ni Jesus ng maging apostol. Siguradong sigurado siya kahit walang ibang nakakita. Paano niya mapapatunayan na pinili nga siya ng ating Panginoon na maging apostol? Sino ba iba pang nakarinig? May nakakita ba na tinalaga siya ng ating Panginoon na maging apostol niya? Hindi. Wala. Pero sa sarili niya, siguradong sigurado siya na siya ay tinalaga, na siya ay pinili, na siya ay inibig. Kung titignan po ninyo sa sarili niyong buhay, sa mga magkatipan, sa mga mag-asawa, tingnan ninyo yung katabi ninyo, yung asawa ninyo. Bakit yan ang pinili mo? Kasi, sigurado ka. Sigurado ka sa nararamdaman mo. Sigurado ka sa nakikita mo. Sigurado ka sa narinig mo. Sigurado ka sa taong yan. Kaya yan ang pinili mo. Sa mga madre, sa amin dito, bakit itong pinili mo? Sigurado ka. in a certain point of your life, naging sigurado ka sa pag-ibig na nadarama mo at yun ang tugon mo para ka magbago. Maging sigurado ka. Siguraduhin mo. Tiyakin mo. Kaya nga dumadaan kayo sa panahon ng panliligaw. Sana. Kaya nga dumadaan pa kayo sa mga pagkakataon na sinusubok pa ninyo ang isa't isa. Dahil, nais mong siguraduhin kung ano yung nararamdaman mo. At yun ang nararamdaman ng ating kapatid na si Saul. Sigurado siya sa nararamdaman niyang pagpapatawad. Sigurado siya sa nararamdaman niyang pag-ibig na nagmula sa Diyos. Sigurado siya na siya ay pinili. Sigurado siya sa kanyang naramdaman. At dahil sigurado siya, pinangatawanan niya lahat ng mga sagabal na pwedeng humarap sa kanya, na dumaan sa kanya, na pwedeng magpahinto sa kanya, na para sabihin, hindi ka talaga pinili. Guni-guni mo lang yun. Imagination mo yun. Lahat ng yun, tinanggal niya. And he became committed. Dahil sigurado siya. Kaya nga siguro iba sa inyo, bakit hindi ganun ka committed? Hindi kasi kayo sigurado sa nararamdaman ninyo. Bakit ang bilis mo lang mang-iwan? 
hindi ka kasi sigurado sa nararamdaman mo. Bakit ang bilis mong manloko, manghaliwa, umalis, lumayo, magpakasaya sa iba? Hindi ka sigurado sa nararamdaman mo. Ang tugon ni Pablo sa pag-ibig ng Diyos kaya siya nagbago, sigurado siya sa kanyang nararamdaman. Pangalawa, nagsakripisyo siya. Sabi pa niya sa kanyang sulat, sa kanyang unang sulat sa mga taga-Kurinto, But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and His grace toward me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Nagsakripisyo siya, nagtrabaho siya. Ang dami niyang ginawa. Kaya nga si San Pablo ay naging apostole sa mga hintil. Sa mga hindi hudyo. Nakulong siya. Ilang beses tinangkaan siyang buhay niya. Kahit saan siya pumunta. Kapag naramdaman mo yung pag-ibig, kapag naramdaman mo yung pagpapatawad, magsasakripisyo ka. Magsasakripisyo ka. Kaya siguro naramdaman nyo rin yun sa mga pagkakataon na may iniibig kayo na lahat gagawin mo para sa taong mahal mo. Mapatunayan lang na mahal mo siya. Kaya nga, yung mga tao nagpapakasal, pinapakita sa buong mundo na itong tao nito, ang tao mahal ko, at kaya kong magsakripisyo para sa kanya. Kayo kaya? Kaya nyo ba yun? O baka kasi, hanggang tago na lang, hindi pwede. Hindi legal. Mali. Tama ba yun? Kaya mo bang magsakripisyo? Can you labor much para sa taong mahal mo? Na hanggang sa dulo, kahit uugod-ugod na kayo, sasamahan ninyo na kahit naman yung pagkakamali o may kulang, hindi mo iiwan. Kahit masakit magmahal, magmamahal ka pa rin. Kaya niyo bang magsakripisyo? Kaya niyo bang masaktan? Kaya niyo ba? Kasi yun ang ginawa ni Pablo. Doon niya ipinakitang pagbabago niya. Walang sino man ang nagsabi na magbago siya. Pero kusang loob na ginawa niya. Kumusa siya. Okay lang. Para sa'yo. Okay lang. Para sa'yo ito, Lord. Masugatan man, masaktan man, magkaproblema man, kakayanin. Basta kasama ka. Kaya ba? Pangatlo, nakisama siya. Siya ay dating tagausig. Pinapatay niya yung mga kristyano. Pagkatapos, nung nagbago siya, kanino siya sumama? Sa mga tagasunod ni Jesus. Siguro sa bawat tingin ng mga tao sa kanya, pinapaalala sa kanya yung kanyang nagawa. Siguro yung ilang doon sa mga tagasunod ni Jesus, isa sa mga kaanak nila ay napatay niya. Isa siguro doon, nausig ni Pablo. 
kapag hindi siya nakisama, kapag sinunod pa rin niya ang dati niyang gawe, mapapatunayan ba niya ang pag-ibig niya? Mapapatunayan ba niya yung pagbabago niya? Kung hindi ka marunong makisama, mamuhay ka mag-isa. Makisama ka. Kasi hindi sa lahat ng pagkakatoon, ikaw yung dapat masunod. Ikaw yung pakikinggan. Ikaw yung dapat alalahanin. Ikaw ang magiging sentro ng buhay nila. Hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon, ikaw ang iisipin. Hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon, ikaw ang dapat tugunan. Minsan, ikaw din dapat. Isipin mo yung iba. Ano bang nararamdaman nila? Paano na ba sila? Ano yung nasa puso't isipan nila? Makisama ka. Dahil hindi lahat ng tama sa'yo, tama sa kanila. At yun ang ginawa ni Pablo. Yung kanyang mga turo, dati, nagbago. At doon niya ipinakita ang kanyang tugon ng pagbabago sa pagmamahal at kapatawarang natanggap niya. Sigurado siya Nagsakripisyo siya. Nakisama siya. At yun po siguro yung hamon sa atin. Sigurado ka ba sa nararamdaman mo? Kaya mo bang magsakripisyo? Kaya mo bang makisama? Kasi hindi. Kung hindi, hindi ka pa nagbago. Wala pang pagbabago. Hanggang pakiramdam lang yung pagmamahal na ibinigay para sa'yo. Hanggang pakiramdam lang. Magbago ka. Sana. Please stand. Let us pray for the mission of the Church and the needs of the world redeemed by Christ. For every intention we shall pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope, the bishops, and the priests may be zealous in preaching repentance and conversion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That missionaries may have the courage to proclaim the gospel, even in difficult places and circumstances. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are in doubt or despair may discover the eternal truth which is Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the elderly, the lonely, and the sick may receive the comfort of God's love in their distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prior provincial and for our brothers and ministry at Bahia Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak and for our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that the faithful departed may be forgiven of their sins and encounter God in His kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of our Redeemer, as we write our prayers with the intercession of St. Paul, deepen the grace of conversion in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed in you, Lord, God of all creation, for three goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for three goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual train. Blessed be God forever. We may be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice be sacred today. Be pleasing to you. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice in yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with that light of faith with which he constantly enlightened the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed Apostle, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Santo, 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 Panginoong Diyos ng mga Napupuno ang langit at lupa Nakadakilaan mo O sana, o sana sa kahitaasan Sa kahitaasan Pala ang naparirito sa gala ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana sa kaitaasan, sa kaitaasan, sa kaitaasan. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do these in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may never to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. First, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever.
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer is under the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The bottom of Christ, keep us safe, keep him. Paalala po sa lahat.
Please stand. Let us celebrate the conversion of St. Paul, the Apostle. He was transformed from being a persecutor of Christ into a vessel of His grace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let, Let us celebrate, celebrate the, the conversion, conversion of St. Paul the, the Apostle. He, he was transformed from being a persecutor of Christ into a vessel of his grace. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which the blessed Apostle Paul burned already as he bore his concern for all the churches through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagkikisa sa banal na misa at patuloy po nating ipagdasal ang isa't isa. Mag-ingat po kayo sa man kayo papunta. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may the blessing of the Almighty God the Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, candles, oils, and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.